Hello everybody, the first star for Chaos Dwarves has been revealed and it is the return of Hathak the Unstoppable. Glorious to see him back in action. Uh, legend, one of the best star players in the history of Blood Bowl really, uh, going from 3rd edition. So, yep, fantastic. There's been an article on the Warhammer website. So, here we go. They talk about him a bit, saying he's the opposite of Jordel, which he kind of is, I guess. He's uh, he's pretty cool. The model is so big that it actually doesn't all fit on one pic on one page right now. <laughs> but um, yeah, he's 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 awesome, isn't he? It's absolutely everything you would hope for in a Hathark the Unstoppable miniature. Really, uh, absolutely brilliant. I think I think they've nailed the new models. I think that looks majestic <laughs> as much as somebody so brutal can so there you go absolutely incredible incredible model i think um and you know they talk about the, the fluff from him <laughs> nine foot tall 1800 pounds and uh you know at least they've got a somewhat more realistic weight now so that's nice isn't it that's something they haven't done in the past <laughs> and uh yeah you know he's 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 violent he's very violent he's very unstoppable is is the fluff Got some art there, pretty much the same as the model. And uh, the, the, the skills they've chosen to spoil are very strange. Because he's a bull centaur, so of course he has sprint and thick skull. That seems a little bit superfluous. Makes you wonder, I guess they just wanted to hide what he actually had. So they only mentioned the break tackle, but um, confirmed that he's got break tackle. And it shows his new special ability, which is every time he blitzes. Let that sink in. Whenever he performs a blitz action, he may re-roll a single block dice. I mean, that is incredible, isn't it? I mean, it means he's almost never going to um, double skull. It's making it a 1 in 216 instead of 1 in 36. And it's making, you know, if he gets a 3 dice, he's just almost never going to. And it also means he's going to get a lot more knockdowns, right? Instead of getting, you know, say 75%, he'll get 87.5%. So he's going to get way more knockdowns and he's almost never going to turn over. And uh, obviously increases the chance of getting a POW as well, um, if, if versus dodges and stuff. So really, really, really cool ability for blitzing. And then you can see here that he's 300,000 GP, which is, you know, that's it's on the pricier end, but you'd expect that, right? The package he brings is is very powerful. And interestingly, he's not just Favour of a Shut. So this, this proves that Favour of a Shut is what Chaufs are going to get. Chaos Dwarves are going to get. Uh, Badlands Brawl is the other thing. Now, um, what I have done here, I've put a few screenshots of things. So Badlands Brawl is Black Orcs, Chaos Dwarves as, as well, for some reason. <laughs> um, uh, goblins, Ogres and Orcs. So there you go. So these, these teams you'll all play for. So out of those, you know, sometimes he'll be an option, right? Sometimes he'll be an option for any of those teams. Um, it looks like, I guess, Ogres will get the most value out of him, maybe. Um, but, you know, that's interesting. And uh, So, yeah, we've got we've got the new model there. That's the full screenshot if you want to see him all without scrolling. That is what the new model looks like. Very nice. And then the original, the original Hathark. I've put on here for comparison, you know, talk, you know, speculation about his stats and what have you. He used to be strength six when he first came out and he had block. And uh, that was the original. This is when, like, Griff Oberwald was 180k and when Morgan Thorg was 190k and you had them permanently rostered. And basically, Hathark could just re represent any bull centaur. And it kind of made sense, in, you know, in those days that Ogres were strength six, Trolls were strength six, Minotaurs were strength six, and bull centaurs were strength six. And it's kind of weird, I think, that bull centaurs have gotten so weak over the various iterations. But it, it makes sense balance-wise, but just not when you look how gigantic they are and then this was his his most recent rules i didn't know where the actual rules um were but this was blood bowl 2016 uh, this is from fumble and you can see he was 330k they dropped him down to strength five but they'd given him juggernaut so that that skill wasn't even around in third edition when he first came out so you know reasonable to assume he'd have this kind of stat line again and strength five with break tackle is of course makes break tackle really nice uh, as good as it used to be um, for bull centaurs, uh, for strength four bull centaurs. So it's, you know, the, the break tackle with strength five is going to be good. He might be strength six, right? Varag, Varag got put up to uh, 
strength 5 from strength 4. Farag was always historically strength 4 and went to strength 5. Maybe they'll make a Farag strength 6. I mean, he certainly looks massive and, uh, you know, he's going to be a Forge World Resin model, of course. And, uh, yeah, that's it. That's Hathag. That's the first of the new Chaos Dwarf stars. So um, I'll be bringing updates about everything from now on. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.